G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, I'll just uh, do a bit more work on the little sh uh, share line. And when I got this, there wasn't much came with it. There was a few Allen keys and a bit of uh, high-speed steel. And there was one accessory. <laughs> a little uh, dead centre to go in the in the tail stop. Yeah, that would be the genuine and original one, I would think. And it's all you know, well and good, but um, the tip of it is stuffed. It's all burnt and it's worn. It's no good. You can't use it like that. So, uh, what do you do? Well, you can re-grind them, reshape them. Um, but how are you going to do it? I mean, this is a Morse Zero. How are you going to hold a Morse Zero in one of the other lathes to... Uh, regrind the uh, the end and what are you going to use to regrind it with well I'll show you a simple little trick and I'll show you the power of having a pencil air die grinder which is what I'm going to regrind this with even though I've got a full size tool post grinder the lead die grinder will do this job no worries whatsoever and we'll have this brand spanking new in literally no time at all so I'll show you how we're going to do this First thing we're going to do is take out the, the quill. Bingo. And then we're going to uh, put our end in the quill. We're now ready for action. Now we go over the old shoreblin. We get a collar which will take the quill and as there's a pin on the back of this, a roll pin, you can't put it in through the front, well you could but it's not very good, we'll feed it in through the back. We'll put our collar on the collar chuck and the cavity at the back of the ER32 collar will Take the pin and everything else. You can see I've got my little lead eye grinder set up. I've got the top slide at the 30 degree angle. And now all we have to do is uh, bring it in, start up the lathe, start up the uh, air die grinder, piece of cake. Job. I think you can see how buggered the tip is there. Pretty bad. started raining. Oh well, just as well I'm in the shed. Now we're just pushing out our quilt. Oh. Now we're all, all done. Not sure there's no... So yeah, got the oil bottle over it. They're all back in. It's all bit clean. There 
go. Give it a white. Should all be good. So there's our tip for reground. I mean, it was in bad, bad shape. It took a lot of grinding. But back to new condition again now. And uh, yeah, get some more life out of it. So there you go. Pollots, fantastic. Little air die grinders, equally fantastic. Just use them as a mini tool post uh, grinder, TPG, and you're good to go. Alright, well anyway, that's it for me. I hope you got something out of that. We'll see you next time. Cheers.